Hi everyone and welcome to English Acquiring channel and the discussing uh, specific uh, topics to improve our English. Yes, it's uh, good news uh, that we have finished uh, the sixth playlist of uh, Harmony for the speaking center or the speaking club. Uh, okay, so we are starting uh, a new playlist of Harmony 4. Yes. From uh, this video on, uh, we will be uh, we will be talking about uh, talking about those topics sequentially or consecutively. Yes, and it will be our uh, seventh playlist. Yes. Okay. Now we will start uh, with the topic, uh, with the topic of leisure activities and work. Of course, uh, we will focus on the balance between leisure and work. And then hobbies and technology together. Yes, writing a critic. Uh, so it will be a kind of a writing study what's news uh, and getting news uh, or giving news, uh, spreading news or to inform people, to be informed by the people we will talk about news. What's newsworthiness? Yes, so of course, uh, some events are really newsworthy. Television programs then will be our uh, our next topic and then global television having fun is also a specific topic and special locations will be another so the last topic will be support is good for it. so it will be about support okay now let's start with leisure activities yes the explanation is uh, like this spare time when we are not working Yes. So what can we do? Uh, what can we do when we are not working? Okay. okay. Ping pong, for example. Ping pong is a game. What is embroidery? A game, a sport, a fitness activity, a hobby, or a handicraft? Embroidery uh, should be should be a hobby. Yeah, it should be a hobby okay uh, so embroidery is a form of needlework and uh, artistry it's about artistry relaxing and meditative hobby yes it is a relaxing and meditative hobby which makes uh, which makes a person think deeply yes so Ping pong uh, may be a leisure time, leisure activity, spare time activity, free time activity, and embroidery uh, may also be a free time activity, a leisure activity for us. Okay, for what? ChatGPT, why is it necessary to strike a balance between leisure and work? Will you answer in 35 words? Yes, I asked this question. And ChatGPT gave this response. Response. Okay, reply. Reply, ChatGPT replied like this. Yes, here is for what? Here uh, in this paragraph. Okay, uh, there will be two paragraphs. Okay. Uh, this will be about striking a balance and the last one will be about maintaining, yes, sustaining that uh, balance. Okay. Maintaining a balance between work and leisure is crucial for overall well-being. For well-being, but for overall well-being, not just a well-being of uh, eating, well-being, of walking, talking, but for overall well-being. It prevents burnout. 
exhaustion, and lack of motivation, enhances productivity and fosters mental and physical health. Striking this equi equilibrium, again, balance, ensures a more fulfilling, satisfying, and sustainable lifestyle. So it contributes to a sustainable lifestyle. That balance is really important. Now, uh, the image says, come play chess. Okay. Do you have to be patient or brave for, for chess, for playing chess? Of course, uh, we have to be, we have to be patient to play chess. I feel like playing. This is a nice expression. I feel like doing something. I feel like playing chess tonight. What do you feel like doing this afternoon? I feel like sailing. What do you feel like doing? I feel like diving today, this afternoon. What do you feel like doing uh, tomorrow? I feel like windsurfing tomorrow. I feel like snorkeling tomorrow. I feel like scuba diving. Or I feel like horse riding or fancy. Yeah, I want very much. Yes, we can write in parentheses. Uh, just like saying, I feel like playing. For example, we can also we can also say, I fancy playing. I aspire to play. Yeah, I want to play very much. I feel like uh, also means, if you look it up in the dictionary, feel like means I fancy. Yes, just fancy. I fancy playing chess tonight. Okay. Okay, all right. Let's turn back. I think it's clear. The chess can be considered. Chess can be uh, considered, can be taken as, yeah, can be considered as intellectually stimulating. What another game or activity can be considered uh, intellectually stimulating? Let me read the question again. What another game or activity can be considered so? Sudoku uh, can be considered as intellectually stimulating. Mathematical puzzles uh, can be considered as intellectually stimulating. Crossword puzzles, yes, okay. Uh, you can make sentences, okay. What about riddle? Uh, riddle and tongue twisters. Yes, for example, here is a riddle. What has four legs? What has four legs and a body but cannot walk? What is it? And there is a, a tongue twister. Biddy bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Biddy bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Okay. And the image also says ben uh, benefits of playing chess. Okay. Now, ChatGPT, uh, what is the answer to this riddle? What has four legs and a body but can't wall? ChatGPT. The answer to this riddle is usually a chair. A chair typically has four legs and a body but cannot wall. Of course, a table comes to our mind, minds as well. But typically, it says, typically, uh, and uh, the riddle is usually, sorry, usually a chair. Okay. ChatGPT, will you ask a short riddle? Certainly, here is a riddle for you. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Yes, it is. Eco. Yes. We shout, for example, uh, the waves, the sound waves goes to an obstacle, a, a hard place, and 
uh, they strike there uh, and then uh, those waves come to our ears by means of the wind, the air, the wind, echo, yes. Another riddle here, what's always found on the ground but never gets dirty? So it's a shadow. Let's remember a few riddles and rhymes, tongue twisters, for a good time and intellectual stimulation, shall we? Okay, let's. Stanley stands sadly on the steep steps. Yes. Riddles. What is always in front of you but can't be seen? What is it? It's the future. It is always in front of us but we can't see it. It can't be seen by us. What should you keep after giving to someone? What should you keep after giving to someone? Your word, your promise. We should keep our promise. We should keep our word after giving it to someone. The last one. I shave every day, but my beard stays the same. What am I? What is my job? A barber. Yes, you are a barber. Tongue twisters, as for tongue twisters, all I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. You can believe it or not, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper copper Pat. Okay. Dialogue five. Knitting is a handcraft. Is our awari from West Africa a hobby, a game, a handicraft, or a fitness activity? Yes, this is awari. So it's a hobby. Awari is a hobby. Okay, what is kalari payatu? Kalari payatu, in short, kalari from India. Yes, uh, it's a, it's a game, I think. Yes, it's a game. Kalari Payat to the oldest martial arts in the world was founded by Bangwan Parashuan many thousand years ago. Just like karate or uh, Kung Fu, okay, Kalari Payatto is a sport then, it's a sport. Okay, for a child's physical development, as punching and kicking exist in karate, it's physically tough. May karate be chosen as a sport for children or should another easy and gentle sport be considered for them. Of course, it changes the uh, it, cha it changes uh, according to the uh, physical and uh, physical and psychological uh, status of the child. Uh, but uh, uh, the instructor approach is really important. So both. Uh, karate and uh, another uh, easy sport uh, may be chosen, but uh, in all cases, in all situations, uh, there should be emphasis, uh, there should be uh, discipline, yeah, there should be discipline and respect, and safety measures should be taken. Uh, judo or taekwondo can be chosen. Swimming, for example, soccer, uh, the child's individual preferences also a matter. Interest and personality, uh, we should uh, take into consideration all, uh, all pedagogical principles. Okay. If a busy professional person needs some uh, R and R means rest and relaxation, does a little R and D research and development do them good, certainly. Uh, 
it really uh, it 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 will really be useful for them uh, for their professional growth innovation uh, problem solving skills yes it will be very suitable for them for their problem solving skills yes a little research and development activity i think reading Poems is emotionally satisfying. What do you think is intellectual stimulating? Yes, participating in discussion groups is intellectually stimulating, I think. Or I think uh, lectures and talks, lectures and talks are, uh, are intellectually stimulating. Philosophical discussions are really advisable they really can be intellectually stimulating and problem solving activities uh, may also be considered may also be considered as problem solving as, as intellectually stimulating okay the cartoon says i studied the theory of relativity uh, the philosopher says, I study the relativity of theory. Okay. Dialogue 9. Sending postcards nowadays instead of sending email messages can be considered as a weird hobby, strange hobby. Can knitting gloves and teapot warmers be considered as weird or ordinary? Yes, they can. Uh, they can be considered they can be considered as ordinary ordinary hobbies make your own postcards and send online it is uh, it is the it is a really a modern application of uh, sending postcards Balance is key. I wish I could balance my work and leisure time. What should I do to attain, to acquire that balance? First and foremost, you should have a schedule and then you should prioritize your tasks and uh, so uh, a balance between work and leisure is a uh, is not possible without setting realistic goals. So taking breaks is also essential. We should consider taking uh, breaks, uh, taking breaks uh, to balance our work and leisure. And uh, of course, we should find, try to find activities we enjoy because if we enjoy doing something, it means that they are our hobbies. Okay. And they can be, uh, they can be kind of therapy for us if we enjoy doing them. Now, key qualities for cultivating plants. I'd like to do, I want to do gardening because it must be relaxing. What qualities do we need for it, for gardening? Yes, uh, first and foremost, again, we should have knowledge about how to do it. And we should pay attention or we should concentrate, focus. We should focus our attention uh, on details. Yes, and we should pay attention to detail. Law of nature, we should have law of nature and we should be patient and we should have the quality of flexibility and resilience is also essential and perseverance comes to our minds uh, when it uh, when it comes to gardening observation and organizational skills environmental responsibility and environmental uh, sensitivity and awareness uh, are also vital are also necessary to do gardening. To surf means, as you know, physically to surf means to ride on waves 
while standing on a special board. What does surfer mean? Surfer is the person who rides on waves while standing on a special board. What does, sorry, what does to surf the net or to surf on the internet mean? To, so, uh, to, surf, uh, to surf the net or to surf on the internet means uh, looking, uh, uh, getting information, trying to get information by means of uh, by means of uh, the internet, for example, by uh, means of Google or uh, in uh, other uh, browsers. Yeah, I think. Okay. Now, this is the uh, last page and last paragraph. By doing what? Yeah, ChatGPT, how can we strike a balance between leisure and work? Will you answer in 35 words? Yes, by doing what this time? Achieving a balance uh, involves setting, setting clear boundaries by prioritizing tasks and scheduling designed, defined, chosen leisure time, regular breaks effective time management and mindful transitions help maintain a healthy equilibrium between work and leisure by enhancing overall well-being. Okay, this is uh, all, all for now and uh, see you next time and I wish you a good day.